Hi everyone, so welcome back to another video and if you are here, it's probably because you came from our Instagram because a few days ago, uh, I was sharing about my Excel sheet that I used to track like the Taobao items and it turns out many of y'all wanted it and asked for a video explanation as well so I guess here we are, I tidy up the Excel sheet uh, came out with a template that y'all can input in but before we go right to it uh, we are actually working together with Tiger Brokers on a sponsorship and here's Chris to tell you more about it Hey guys, wanna earn some small pocket money to subsidize your top of spending? Well, uh, we have a collaboration with Tiger Brokers now and if you sign up with our link in the description and deposit $2,000 then you actually get yourself a free Apple stock worth about 145 USD. So now, once you withdraw that and sell your stock and cash it out, that's about 725 running fee that you can spend on top of stuff. So if you want to get your free Apple stock, don't, don't forget to sign up with our link. Uh, you'll be getting something for yourself and then you'll also be helping out our channel. So if not, then let's get back to what we are actually here for. Learning to excel. Okay, and now we are back to the video. So, um, okay, I'll just run you through um, how, how the Excel sheet works. And then, yeah, let me, yeah, we'll just see what happens now, okay? Okay, so this is a table that I do. So generally, okay, so just to let y'all know, generally when I make the purchase, right? Like when I'm checking off my card items and making payment. So what I do is that I actually screen record um, the purchasing process lah. So like I'll, sh I'll screen record um, the items being picked and then I will press the you know the bottom area where you can see the breakdown of the prices so when I open that up right um, this is all that I will see. So this is actually very important because um, then it helps to balance out your sheet. So if you do not want to do it immediately like on the spot so you can screen record it and then maybe like the next day because you know most of us buy our purchases at midnight right <laughs> so you can do it the next day yeah so generally when I screen record so I'll screen record this part and I'll take note of it and then I will press okay wait let me show you the whole thing so then I will press the bottom right corner to say to make payment right and then it will go to the payment page so that is actually the more important portion um, because it shows if there are any further discount like you know those additional vouchers that are being implemented so, so just a pro tip when you are screen recording and you are scrolling right scroll slowly um, because when you scroll too fast then when you watch back right you will have a very difficult time <laughs> trying to pause it all the time so just screen record and go through the item one by one don't scroll too fast and then okay so once you check check everything done then you see at the end right there are things there are the additional payment discounts like oh your your store voucher your top out coins that you're using and then sometimes um, there's like a three percent fee which is at the bottom right at the bottom and then sometimes you know you have your credit card discount so you need to take note of all this and then once you're done, you can make payment on your phone. So once you make payment, um, then that's it lah. Okay, so now we go to the Excel sheet. So what happens is that um, the very first part, right, you won't be able to fill up all these um, tracking numbers because, I mean, you wouldn't have them yet lah. Um, but all this, everything else can be filled in. So the, um, the headers that are highlighted in the turquoise color, right, uh, areas that you will have to input so for example item one whether how many packages and how many items so to give you an example um, for me number of items I go by quantity in the top all so for example if let's say the top all listing is for a set of coasters so let's say you have four coasters in one set so I'll put that as one item but if you order two sets of four then I'll put two items do you all get it? yeah so I hope that's clear um, then in terms of packages then you know they might send the two sets of four in one package so then you indicate here one package okay and then uh, in the screen recording right so when you go go back line item by line item so you can do so for example this rubbish bin right so you will put 
1980 that's item 1 item 2 is the larger bin which is was 2690 times 2 so okay, I rename it bin 1 bin 2 and this is two items bin 1 item yeah so uh, yeah then let's say okay here then it's counted you just put the zero okay so that's how it works uh, then vouchers uh, if let's say the seller has like oh if you hit uh, $20 then you know minus $5 voucher so you can just add in here then you get the total cost so yeah shipping sometimes your items right have domestic shipping uh, within China so like example oh you want fast delivery so you will see it reflected in the same page that I'm talking about as well so you can input it in then you from there you get the total cost it will be so for this the total cost was 1168 yuan Okay, then this portion, right, additional discount is where this portion comes in. So, like I mentioned earlier on, you know, the coin discount, promo discount, home file discount. So, in total, right, the total discount that I had was 167. So, what I do is that um, I actually, so for this formula, right, I actually take the total discount divided by the number of line items. So, there are 17 items. Lah. So I simply divide it by uh, the number of line items but if you have a preference, let's say you want to divide it by packages, you want to divide it by number of um, items, not line items, then you can change this number um, accordingly. So yeah, I'll put a remark to say that this needs to be, this cell needs to be edited because it's not always 17. Lah. Yes, correct. So this total will be your original item cost minus the additional discount. So your, the bid becomes 995. Um, and then we how do we get the SGD cost is here so at the end right when you make your payment uh, you actually make your okay so I mentioned earlier on that you know at the beginning you will be able to see uh, what is the total cost of even me pay as well then at the end right you'll be able to see what your payment is in SGD so for here it's 5 to 3 so you tally these two together, so these two together, um, and then when you divide, so the exchange rate is here, lah. So when you divide the roaming B cost over the SGD cost, then you get the exchange rate. <laughs> is it too much? <laughs> I feel like I'm so content heavy. I feel like I'm doing a lecture. Okay, but anyway, so I hope you are following so far. So. Basically, the total is the roaming pay cost divided by the exchange rate that you get from here la. Okay, and then uh, 3% fee So I put this in grey because uh, you know if you manage to get a 3% fee waiver uh, Then you can ignore this column la and, come and put it at zero But as, you, as we all know, you know it's quite difficult to get a 3% waiver fee or sometimes it doesn't appear So basically the, the fee is Two, um, the 250 times 3% lah, so it's like 8 cents so your total item cost in SGD will be this over here this column M yeah so um, this column right here should if we don't okay this column here should tally with the total cost that you pay in SGD so as you can see the total cost for all my 17 items is 251.43 which tallies with what I paid. So okay, I'm not a POA student. I wasn't I wasn't a principal of account student. So uh, if I'm using terms wrongly like subtotal, grand total, total, I don't know what else there, uh, just bear with me, but uh, I think you get a point now. Okay, so when so when you so when you're looking at your item and you have to find out how much it costs, right? Or let's say people ask like, oh, how much this type of item cost? So I'll typically look at this um, this column. Lah. So it might not be that accurate because you have your additional discounts on top of it. So if let's say you manage to get more additional discount during that period of time, right? So um, some people might not be able to get that and they might get the original price, which is this. Yeah. So I mean, it's really personal preference, what you prefer, but this is how I do it. 
Okay, so this 7% GST, right? Uh, because I use Fit Forwarding uh, and we have to pay GST for our items. So I basically take the SGD price uh, by 7%. Uh, so that's the GST that I have to pay. Uh, some of you might want to see it in terms of roaming fee. Then I guess you can take the roaming fee cost, which is here. Uh, sorry, which is here. <laughs> which is here. Yeah. And then you'll be able to get your your grand total, I guess, because you have your item cost plus the 3% fee plus the 7% GST. And then okay, yeah. Okay, so that's all you need to know if let's say you are doing regular shipping. So if you are not doing fit forwarding, let's say um, or you don't need 7% GST to bother you, right? You can just ignore these two columns and your final cost will be here. So that's all you have to know. But if you do fit forwarding like me and you want to track your items, so there's an additional um, there's an additional table here which is for your fit forwarding. So you know how when you do fit forwarding, right? You um firstly when your items are all packed, your your third party forwarder will tell you like, okay, this is how many CBM be this, uh, this is how much your items cost, this is how much your GST cost. Um actually I'm not sure whether it's common practice for them to break down the item cost plus GST cost I hope they do for you because it's easier so firstly you fill up how many CBM your your package was and how much they told you to pay so back then I paid 996 yuan for 1.81 CBM um, then GST they told me this was a GST cost so in total um, I paid 1390 yuan for my fit forwarding charges and when I paid it uh, when I paid it right uh, it was 200 and $288.42 SGD so same thing I input so I input these items in the coins this, this like U shape right so because of that then I'll be able to get an exchange rate so the exchange rate for my fit forwarding was 4.82 so because of that, I'm able to know how much it cost, um, the GST cost was um, as well. Yeah. So after that, if let's say you want to do further breakdown of how how much each package um, cost based on your CBM, that's a bit more tricky. I don't think I want to go there in this video uh, because it can be quite complicated. La. So, so yes, this is how I do it. Okay, so some scenarios that I want to point out is like these two rows. So as you can see, uh, items 7 and 8, right? Even though they are separate items, but I bought them from the same seller. So because of that, even though... Um, okay, so Barra actually did it wrong. It should, be, uh, it should be one package. So even though there are two items that I bought from the seller, um, they were sent out one package. So there is one tracking number. Then same for this. So item 12 to 15 uh, is four items from the same seller. They were packed in one package and then one tracking number. Okay, then the, the opposite side of it is this. So you have one item, a huge item. So for let's say like your bed frame, your furniture and all that, usually it's like that. So for uh, item 17, I think it was a large item. So they set up two packages, so I have two tracking numbers. So, yeah, in order to know this, right? So, last time, what I used to do is that I message every single seller to ask them, like in Chinese, like, oh, how many um, for my order, like, how many packages they sent out? Can you give me all the numbers? Uh, but I realized it was quite tedious. So, what I did was that I just did a estimation. So, if the items are small, let's say, like, maybe they are accessories, I'll just assume that they will all be packed into one. So something like that. so I don't ask them but for larger items like furniture or things that I feel they won't be able to put in one big package uh, then I'll check in with the seller on that uh. so yes okay this is my excel sheet okay and then this is how the template will look like that I've done up for y'all to see uh, okay so as mentioned the fills in turquoise colour are for you to input so for example tracking number so let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 packages 1, item 1, name maybe water, bottle 
So original cost, let's say it was like 15 um, Is there voucher? No voucher, put 0 If there's voucher, just put uh, maybe 3 So your product cost, is there uh, internal shipping? With domestic shipping in China, if no, 0 Then additional discount, so additional discount Okay, so additional discount I mentioned, let's say uh, you fill in everything now. Let's give some of the number. Uh, like, nine, seven, seven, seven. Okay, then coins discount. Let's say you minus 10 yuan off, 30 dollar off, or two. So you have 42 discounted, uh, 42 dollars. Uh, and let's say I want to divide by the line items. So Let's say it's only let's say I only have four items now. So this one, so I will put divide by four. So it'll be 1050. So just make sure that you copy a oops. Just make sure you copy across the four items as well. Then yeah. So if you see a negative value like that, right? So what I will do is that um so you have to do some balancing on that lah. So for this, our let's say our our plus five fifty. So it's eight five two eight. Yeah. So if you see a negative value, then you have to play around with your numbers. So you just manually change them such that uh, this does not become negative. So let's say the discount is so much that your this item is free lah, and then you can use that. Amount to offset your other items. Yeah. So once you okay, so the reason why there's all this right is because of the exchange rate. So let's say your cost is one five one. Let's say you use the number like what thirty. Let's say it's thirty sing. So yeah, it's thirty sing. So then your errors will be gone lah, uh, because the exchange rate is up. So, I hope that's clear for everyone. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I'll be putting this Excel sheet uh, probably in a Google Drive or something for you to download. Uh, if you have any questions uh, or maybe you all want a more detailed uh, video to share more about how I divide my Excel sheet when for the freight forwarding items, right? Because you know, I mentioned that I, after this, uh, I didn't touch on that for the rest. So, yeah, let me know. Um, okay, so I guess that's all for the video. I hope it is informative. Uh, I'm sorry this felt like a lecture. Or, I mean, essentially, it is a, like, a tutorial, right? So, I uh, hope this helps. I hope this helps you excel in your top of excelling. Uh, you are able to track your purchases better. Um, yeah, don't be too... Okay, so don't be too scared of Excel. It's honestly not the worst. Uh, it's quite a lifesaver. Thus, yeah. So okay, so we have come to the end of the video. Uh, a bit sad also and did because like it's quite quite a heavy topic, and I tried my best to simplify it as much as possible. So don't forget to check out our other videos. Let us know if you have any comments. Uh, also don't forget uh, to check out our Tiger Brokers uh, referral link in the description box below if you are interested in signing up for an account to get your free Apple stock. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!